I will say good morning, but it's not morning. It's actually 2.45 and I am super late. I have work to get three. And today is my 13 hour shift, y'all. My 13 hour shift. So I'm heading to work right now. I wanna show you guys what I do on a 13 hour shift. And it's overtime for me because my job, we do eight hours. If you guys are new here, I work at a retirement home in um, Edmonton, Alberta. So we have eight hour shifts and I'm working overtime because we have COVID on our, um, in our facility right now. COVID and RPP or like a respiratory outbreak. So we have to work like overtime because we don't have enough nurses, unfortunately, to cater to the needs that having an outbreak needs, right? So um, I'm working overtime today. My overtime starts from 11 o'clock to four o'clock. So I'll be done four o'clock in the morning. I don't mind it because I'm already at work, but if I was not at work and they told me to come in for four hours, I'm not doing it, right? Cause like that makes no sense. But yeah, so I'm on my way to work right now. I wanna show you guys what I do on a 12 hour shift. It's a lot because you have to do a lot more because of the COVID restrictions and the requirements. Like you have to do vitals, you have to do hourly checks, you have to make sure everyone's okay. Um, you have to manage your symptoms. You have to call family, call doctors, call pharmacies, all of that good stuff, okay? So usually I like to do some of my night shift work during my evening shift. So I'm working very hard on my regular shift so that way I'm just relaxing, quote unquote, on my last four hours of work. I also bring my iPad as well so that way you can do some planning, some school planning, some school work, um, other things to just keep me up to date. I like to do that as well when I am doing everything that I have to do at work. So again, if you're new, my name is Lisha B. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my vloggy vlog and my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you are looking for nursing content and lifestyle content. I am merging my two channels probably officially in the new year but for now i'm just slowly integrating it into this channel so that way i'm not shocked when it actually does happen but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching let's get right into this vlog that's how accidents happen Alrighty, guys so i am on break it is what time is it it's 11 o'clock okay i don't know if you guys can see i should probably change this because you guys can't really see us at all but it is 11 o'clock like i told you guys i started to work since three o'clock in the morning. There you go, 11.03. So I started work from since three o'clock in the afternoon and I am freaking hungry. Like I'm now just going on break and I have five more hours left to work or six more hours left to work. So this is ridiculous. I finish at four o'clock. Okay. Work is so much more tiring because we're on outbreak. So we have to do so much more. We have to do vital signs. We have to do hourly checks. We have to do swabbing, testing. Oh, so much stuff. Like I'm just like, so I can't even speak right now. I'm extremely tired, guys. I'm extremely tired, but I don't have work tomorrow or Tuesday, so it's a good thing. So I'm just gonna sit here, watch some YouTube, and just relax for like 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, and then go back to work. Hey guys, oh my gosh, it's been a freaking day, okay? It is now 11.09 and I am now just getting things done. Like I worked a 13 hour shift yesterday and no one talks about the recovery after working that shift. So um, I worked eight, no I worked, yeah, eight hours the day before and the next day I worked 13 hours and I got two days off. Now I'm trying to get this video done. I've been editing for a while now my next vlog is currently up being uploaded. 
I'm working on this vlog and then I have to do some other content stuff for my TikTok. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, why not? Make sure you guys go and follow me right now. But um, my lips are very dry again. <laughs> I'm realizing I'm coming on here with dry lips a lot. I don't know why, but that seems to be the theme on this channel, Alicia with dry lips. So yeah, <laughs> but um, it's very important ladies and gents Take your vitamins, get rest, drink, um, drink a lot of water, and even though you are tired, try to keep on moving in some way, shape, or form. Don't stay stagnant, don't stay lazy, don't stay in bed all day because your body's not gonna recover and recuperate as much as you need it to before going back to your two or three day stretch. So tomorrow I have a full day. <laughs> tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning, I'm getting these nails done. Yes, yes, yes. And my, my husband paying for my nails for me, so I'm gonna get these nails done. I don't know what style I want yet, but it's gonna be nice. And then afterwards, I have a lunch date with my friend. I haven't seen her in a little bit. I haven't seen her since I think before July. Now after that, I'm gonna come back home, just relax a little bit to go back out for my my one of my good friends' birthday dinner is tomorrow at 7:30. So we have a full day tomorrow. And as you can see, my hair is not done. <laughs> okay, so. I'm about to go style this wig I got from um, AliExpress. Don't ask me the name right now because I don't remember, but I'm gonna put up here. Um, style it, hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't look good, we're going on to plan B, okay? Hey, good morning, good morning. It is 10.50 Tuesday. I just got my nails done. They're not exactly what I wanted. Um, let me show you guys what I wanted. I actually wanted them a little bit longer, but what I wanted was a brown French tip. This is what I actually wanted, a brown French tip, and I got this. This happens when you go to like franchise places, like you don't really get what you want. I mean, he didn't do a bad job. It only looks different because my nails are shorter. If my nails were longer, then he will definitely execute it properly, but it's okay. I can't go long for now anyway, because I'm at work. So this is what I got. Now I'm hungry. Um, I was supposed to meet a friend at 11 o'clock, but she canceled on me last minute, guys. I got canceled on. It's okay, because I'm really tired. So I'm going to go home. I'm actually going to show you guys how I do my planning for my month, week, and day. I might just do a day planning today and do a whole video on how I plan for my weekly, um, my weeks and my month. Um, now that I'm not in school, I want to start school, what's today, September? In order, okay, so the way at the basket is, if you wanna start classes the next month, you have to pay for it by the 10th of the previous month. So say for instance, I wanna start school in November, I have to pay for the class October 10th. So I wanna start school in December, so I'm gonna, or January rather, so um, I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna start paying for it by December 10th, that way I'm enrolled in it and started by January. That is a plan, I'm gonna go home and show you guys how I do my planning, um, budgeting for my classes, and then we're gonna get ready because today's my friend's birthday and we're gonna meet her tonight. Actually, I have to go buy her a card. So we're gonna go to the store and buy her a card and then um, we're gonna get this day rolling because it is 11 o'clock and I am super tired still so drinking my tea because I'm not used to waking up this early. Like nine o'clock has not seen me outside in a while, okay? So yeah, let's get started. The way McDonald's apple juice has a chokehold on me, yeah. That's what we gonna get right now. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. My name is David. Are you collecting points in our app? No, I'm not. What can I get for you? Can I just get a um, a large apple juice and a small fries? I'm so irritated because I'm so hungry. Oh my god. Thank you. Like, I get hangry really quick. Like, if I tell you I'm hungry, you have at least 15 minutes to get something in my stomach. 15 before the beast comes out, okay? <laughs> okay, now I have to go to get my girl a card for her birthday. Guess who's late? Me. <laughs> I don't know where time went, but it is 6.45 basically, and the dinner is at 7.30. And this place is, I believe, at least 30 minutes away from my house. So we got less than 15 minutes to do a face, get our hair on, and get out the door. 
I ain't no makeup guru. My hair is right there, as you guys can see it. I finished it, I was recording it. I think that took me a long time. It took me almost two hours to do that. I bleached it, washed it, styled it, curled it, whatever I had to do. And now it's ready to get installed. I just gotta get my hair, my face done. Oh, oh, I have a fan. Thank God for fans. First up, I'm doing my eyebrows. Um, I like to keep my eyebrows really simple. Actually, I know I like. I do a lot of my eyebrows, but today I'm gonna keep it simple. Oops. Um, I use a lot of things on it, to be honest. I don't even know why I use all this stuff, but I use a lot. I use the e.l.f. Brow Lift, the Morphe um, powder, and the Essence Brow, like a boss, like ink stain, whatever you wanna call it. And I bought like a jar of mascara ones from Amazon. They come, I think, 50 or 100. These are 100. Um, I use them for my eyebrows, everything, my eyelashes, everything I use them for. One thing I realized, if you rush your eyebrows, they are not gonna look good. And you wanna know a joke? Ask me where I'm going, because I absolutely have no clue which restaurant it is. There's three locations, and I asked my husband like an hour ago for which one it is, and he hasn't responded to me. And I don't know where I'm going, so that's a joke. And it's not like all three locations are close by, they're like 15 minutes apart. Opposite directions, okay, so. Oh my God, hurry up. My favorite primer has been Milk and the Milk Dupe Elf Power Grip. Amazing, I love it. I got this from Shoppers Remark for like 13 bucks, guys. Like, it was so cheap, but then ever since it blew up, the price went up as well. So I was gonna do foundation, but I think I'm just gonna go in with the Elf Halo Glow filter. Hopefully this works out because, chuh. This is definitely given oily. Ugh. I've actually never used it by itself before. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Sephora Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder and the Sephora uh, Micro Smooth Bacon Face Powder. I also like to go over it, over the translucent powder with it, so that way I don't get like that flashback. So I know they're gonna be taking pictures today. So. Okay. I'm not even doing lashes today. I'm just gonna do me a bomb ass eyeliner, mascara, and we're good to go. Watch me not duplicate it. <laughs> okay. Just going with the powdered blush. This is a NARS blush and orgasm. My favorite one. Oh my God. This is the NK Makeup Perfection Highlighter from like the beauty store, to be honest with you guys. Just like take a little bit on the arch of my nose bridge and then just blend it out. That's literally all I do. And then I'm gonna put on my lip gloss. Clear gloss. And let's get this hair on my head so we can go. Actually, let me put my shirt on first and then I'll come back and put my wig on. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So this is the hair, I have to tint the lace because it is not my skin tone, girl. The lace is the color of my shirt. 
You know what I forgot? I forgot to put my spray on my face. <gasps> Okay, so this was what I was wearing. A beige bodysuit, pants, and this is how my hair and my makeup turned out. I think it looks so cute. I'm actually supposed to um, tape an install video for this wig, so I'm gonna take it out tonight and just do it over again tomorrow. But yeah, it looked really, really cute. I absolutely loved it. And then I just have to flatten this part out just a little bit more, but yeah. how she looks guys let me show you guys my bedroom this is the aftermath y'all what is this what is this look at this crazy so i'm about to go clean it up tonight because i don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and see this like all this stuff is going to get me very frustrated so i'm going to clean it up tonight Make sure everything is put away so that way when I wake up tomorrow, everything looks good. Yeah. I think I look cute. This bob is actually way better than the other bob that I had. I like the fact that this one has a part and not the bangs. So yeah, this bob I gave a 10 out of 10. Hey guys, it's a brand new day. As you can see, I have way more energy because I had rest, okay? I had rest after my shifts. You guys, it's been so freaking nuts. Like, it's been so nuts. But, like I promised you guys, I wanna show you how I plan out my week. Today is Saturday, so I'm gonna show you guys how I plan out my week from Sunday to Saturday. I have my iPad here. I'm gonna show you guys the planners that I use. Honestly, I don't remember where I got them from. Most likely I got them from Etsy, but you can honestly go anywhere and just get a digital planner. But I do import all the planners that I get on my GoodNotes app. So I'm gonna show you guys how I plan it out, make sure I hit every important thing that I have to do. Um, and also I'm gonna make a separate video of how I plan for the month of October as well. October is a very, very busy month for me. If you live in Alberta, we just got, well not just, but we got an email from CLPNA saying that we have to do registration in October. And I have not done any of the classes that they um, require you to do. I have not done my continued education. I have not done my, um, basically you do like a form to see how you are keeping up with your study. I have not done anything like that. So I have to get that done this week. Um, also I'm going to Toronto just for a quick turnaround trip. Literally I'm going on Saturday and come back on Sunday night. Um, what else is happening? Um, I'm going on, I have my vacation. So I'm trying to revamp my um, content creation pages, my two Instagram pages, my two YouTube pages, and my TikTok, you guys. I am going crazy. Like I'm always switching it up every couple of months and I'm realizing because I'm doing that, I'm not seeing as much growth or I'm not seeing as much progress as I should be because I'm not sticking to something. So hopefully this is the last switch. Oh my gosh, if you are on my nursing page, you guys probably could notice that I'm not really like posting on that page as much. Um, but it's gonna change around. I think I'm gonna make my nursing page, nursing lifestyle, UGC, everything, and then my hair page just strictly here. So I'm doing that, I'm being more organized. I'm actually starting to plan for the New Year's already. I know we're only in October, but I am, if I don't plan now, I'm gonna plan while the New Year already started, and it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so 
I'm gonna show you guys how I plan out for my week and then I'm gonna make a whole separate video on how I plan for my month. And then hopefully I start classes soon. I am, I don't wanna apply for loans. That's why it's taking me a little bit longer to get back into school. I'm looking at bursaries, I'm looking at scholarships, everything in between. So we're gonna do some planning and then we're gonna end off this vlog because I love you guys so much. We are, I believe, past 800 subscribers. To me, that's freaking berserk. Last week, I was at 700. That means my content is reaching out to you guys. You get to love what you are seeing. And to me, that means the world. Like, I love you guys. I just love you guys. I love you guys so much. So, let's get into this planning because I don't want to be babbling so much because I have a lot of things I want to say. But I just want to make sure that you guys don't get tired of me. So, let's get right into our planning for the week. And then we could end this vlog and then start anew. Let's go. So first things first, I use my iPad. Um, I do have a video up of how I use my iPad. You guys watch that because it's very informative. I also have a Apple Pencil that I bought. Um, this product showcase is on, is it? Well, anyways, so it's an Apple Pencil that I bought. Um, I Before I bought one from Amazon, don't do it y'all. Just make the investment and get an Apple Pencil. And I also use my Logitech Folio Touch. This, you guys makes my ipad so much more better i kid i will say i swear to god i kid you not okay i kid you not this makes everything better for me so when it comes to me planning this is my setup i don't even look at my laptop i don't even use it because there's no need to i literally just have this and it works perfectly so let's get into the planning okay so this is my good notes app basically i just do all my planning from here so what i do is i go to my planning folder this has my two planners that i have my success planner and my regular planner and then some stickers i honestly don't remember where i got these planners like i said um but if you want you can just go on etsy and they have so much just pick one that fits your needs um this is my schedule from last week as you can see it was a lot and this was even like fully complete like i didn't do my to-do list right here i also did do my wellness and my notes so let's make sure that we do everything in this week coming up also, I do like to have a lot of stickers for my planners. Um, I have a plethora of pictures, you guys, of stickers, you guys. Um, again, you could get them on YouTube if you follow people who do stationaries, um, digital planners. They do often have free stickers. If you want more, you can go to Etsy, but I have a lot of stickers. Um, I also love to put a BIPOC quote on it that I got from one of my follow, um, subscribers on YouTube. Or you just make your own um, quotes as well. It really doesn't matter. But I like to put mine into my digital planner. And I like to have them up on the tabs as well. That way it's just easier for me to access. So let's go to next week. Next week is from Sunday 24th all the way down to September. Or September. Saturday the 30th. The end of the month. Perfect. For my planners, I kind of do like to type. Because I find like my handwriting is not the greatest. So I do use my keyboard. This is from Logitech. So I just basically pair it with my iPad and I use this to type. It makes it so much easier for me to use and I absolutely love it. So every week I like my planners to look different in terms of the theme, the colors, the fonts, everything like that. So I'm going to choose a different font. Um, last week I used Meganti, I think is how you pronounce it. Today I might just use American Typewriter. Keep it nice and simple for you guys. So what I like to do first is to start off with making sure that the colors and everything is cohesive and there's a theme. So I want to go for a pink theme in this planner. So what I do is I'll go to the font color, choose the type of pink that I want and then I'll save it as a preset. So since this is like a pastel color, I'm gonna stick with the pastels. Um, I like the color wheel because it gets more precise and I get to like basically see what colors I wanna use as well. So I think I'm gonna go for, not a pastel, probably a little bit darker just because colors on this planner is already pastel. So I don't want to get lost and end up like a wallpaper. So this color is pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it as so. And then I'm gonna put it as a um, put it as a default. That way, it's always on that color. Next thing I like to do is I like to start off with my to-do list. I start off with my to-do list because it basically 
tells me and shows me everything that needs to get done for the week and I write it down from important to least important. That way I go and order and make sure that everything that needs to get done is done. Okay, so as you can see, this is my to-do list I have to do for the week. Um, I put them as they came to my brain, <laughs> like it's not in order. So one thing I like about the Good Notes app is we have like a lasso tool that we could just literally put a circle around it and we can move it to whatever we want to move it to. I'm going to rearrange this list from important to not important. Um, that way I could just know what needs to get done like right away and what could wait until probably next week or later on throughout the week. So for sure we want to make sure that we do the CP, the CLPNA, Continuing Education and the Investment Sheet for registration because when I come back from my trip I want to make sure that all that is done so all I have to do is just pay for it because it's not open until October 1st and that's when we can actually start paying for our registration and the insurance but before we do that we have to make sure that we do our education and our advancements on the registration website. So that for sure is priority. So we're gonna just... There we go. And then next we're gonna do the ticket. There you go. So that's the order that we have to do our list. So now what I like to do is transfer all of that to-do list to my actual days on this side of my planner. So for sure the do the CLPNA continuing education module and the investment sheets I would like to do that on Sunday so what I like to do here is go to the stickers and just find a sticker that actually coincides with what I want to do for that day again I have so much so I just like to look through it and see which one actually fits and when I do find one I just copy and paste it and then put it onto that day so let's do because it's for education, let's do the actual ABC one. I think that won't be cute. So we just have to copy it and paste it right here. And then we could do the text box and type in CLPNA registration modules. Just like that. Put it there. So that's going to be school days. And also look for scholarships. I didn't put that on my to do list, but I will look for scholarships and bursaries for my school. So we can also add scholarships and, oh, and bursaries. There you go, so that's my Sunday, okay? Now for Monday, I have work on Monday. So what I like to do is find, let's see. So for my today, and I also like to use the washi stickers that comes with it. I think it's pretty cool and it gives it like a little bit more character and just add something more to that page. So this one I have has a whole lot. Um, if I could find, there's a specific kind that I actually like that I want to use. There we go, okay, it's right here. So because I wanna keep the theme of pink, let's do this one right here. So you just copy it like I showed you guys and then paste it. Just like that. So I think it looks pretty cute. And then because I don't like my handwriting, I do go back to text box, add the text box here and put work. Dollar signs, dollar signs. Let me center it. I also want to finish my registration because I know I have a lot of modules and stuff to do on that day. So I'm pretty sure I won't finish everything on Sunday. So I just want to do finish 
modules. Mm, I'm actually gonna put work here because I want to go on a walk on every day before I go to work. I want to go on a walk. So let's put morning walk slash exercise. So that's gonna be basically what I do for that day because I do have work from 3 to 11. I usually can't get too much done, but that is how my Monday is gonna look. And because it's kind of plain, you can also add in like another sticker if you want from another planner like I have here. So now that you kind of got the, the gist of it, I'm just going to speed this up. Um, just to show you guys how my planner will look when it is completed. It looks full, it looks nice, and you will see how it comes together. So let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so I'm done my planner. Let's go over it really quickly. So like I said, I like to start off with my to-do list. I write down whatever comes to my mind that has to get done that month or that week. And then I just rearrange it in order. And then for my to-do list, I bring it to my separate days. So each day I want to take off at least one or two off of my list. And I put it here in like a nice fancy way. So that way it looks appealing and looks nice. Um, again, the stickers you could get from Etsy, you could get from YouTube, you get free stickers from the actual GoodNotes app as well. But this is how I rearranged all my days. So Sunday, I want to make sure I do my registration modules and my scholarships. Mondays, I want to finish my modules, go on a walk, exercise and I have work. Tuesday, I want to book all my tickets and stuff for um, Toronto. And then I want to start seasoning the food for supper. Wednesday, I'll cook the food, go on a morning jog and then um, go to work. Thursday, I have no work, so it's my me day or my day off. Um, I'll just film content for upload, plan for the next week, and um, take some pictures. Friday, I go back to work for my weekend, so I want to follow up on my position and find out what my schedule is. Saturday, I want to watch church before I go to work, and then this is my quote. It is, you are no better than anyone else, and no one is better than you. That is the quote for the week. That is the theme um i'm actually gonna write theme here so that way i know that this is a theme for the week and i'll remember it for each day i'm just gonna resize this into something smaller bring it down and then i'm gonna do this So that's how I know what my theme is. And then next, I did my top priorities. So for the whole week, no matter what, I have to get my CLPNA done. I have to book my tickets and I have to get my scholarships. That is a non-negotiable. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that. And then wellness. Like I said before, I want to work out before work at least three times a day. Um, my gratitude, I usually write what I'm thankful for. So for this week it's i'm thankful for the opportunity to grow into my channel and myself every day and then on my me time i have to wash my hair do content content and just relax okay and then for the notes i like to put a scripture so the scripture for the week is trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not on your own understanding and that is the theme for the week and this is how my planner looks. It's set, it's ready, it's colorful, it's vibrant. It looks like I want to do stuff and it is ready to get done. 
Alrighty guys, that was the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a lot in this vlog. And I also hope you guys enjoyed how I plan out my week. Again, I will be doing one for the month. But thank you guys so much for watching. I believe we are almost at 900 subscribers by this time. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. I'm thinking of doing a uh, giveaway when we reach 1K. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys want a giveaway. It will be like a starter kit for nurses, like pens, um, a notebook. Um, if you do have an iPad, it will be like probably a digital um, card from Amazon. Just stuff to help you throughout your nursing school. Cue cards, highlighters, stuff like that. So if you guys think I should do that for 1K, let me know down in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.